Hi, my name is Subterranean, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this boombox cartel type sound inside of Syrup. If you'd like to download the final project file from this tutorial, so you can reverse engineer it and see exactly how it was made, or even transform it into your own unique sound for your own music, there is a link in the description below this video for you to download the file. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, and make sure you click on the bell icon to get notified about all new videos from our channel. With that being said, let's get into how to make this sound. And I'm going to start by getting rid of this compressor because we don't need it for now. I just used it for the side chaining. I'm going to open up Serum. And then I'm going to initialize the patch so we have a blank slate to work with. And now we'll start working on our sound. The first oscillator is going to be basic shapes under the analog category. And we're going to set the wavetable position to be at 4. So we've got a basic square wave. Then we're going to go over to oscillator B. This one is also going to be basic shapes under the analog category. And we'll set the wavetable position to be 7, so we've got a tri-saw shape. Now what we're going to do with oscillator B is we're going to take the level, put that all the way down so we can do some frequency modulation. And like I always say in these FM bass videos, do not turn off the other oscillator, just turn the level down. But keep the other oscillator enabled or else the sound won't work. Now we're going to go over to oscillator A. We're going to select FM from B from the warp menu. And let's put this up. Let's put the knob up and see if we can get a good sound. We're starting to get an interesting sound at 92% right here. So we'll leave it there. I'm also going to throw LFO1 onto here. We'll just drag that on. And I'm going to decrease that a little bit because right now it kind of sounds like a Pac-Man sound effect. We'll put it at 5, right there. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to oscillator B. And to get that cool metallic sound, I'm going to boost the octave. So we're going to try a couple different octaves here. We'll go for plus two right here. And I'm also going to increase the semi. We'll go for plus seven semitones. That works pretty well. Now I'm going to go over to the warp menu for oscillator B. We're going to select bend negative, And we're going to boost this up so we can get a more interesting sound out of this oscillator. And you can hear that's a lot less annoying. That has a much better sound to it. I think we could leave it at negative 70%. And let's also add some modulation to this as well. We're going to be using LFO2 for this. And don't worry, we'll set up the LFO patterns and shapes in a minute. So we'll just take LFO2, we'll drag that onto Ben minus, and let's see if we can get a good sound. I think I'm going to decrease this just a little bit. We'll go for 16. Now, one of the main characteristics you may have noticed about this sound in the original clip is that the sound has a short decay time. The sound doesn't keep playing like it does here. The sound basically plays once and it just goes away. It has sort of a plucked feel to it. And we're going to create that with our first LFO shape. For our first LFO shape, I'm going to make a little bump right here. So I'm going to click and then we'll drag that up. And now I'm also going to make another curve right here. We can also turn this down a bit. You don't need to be super precise with this. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit more of a hump right here. Then I'm going to go over to the rate. I'm going to increase this to be 1 16th. And finally, we'll set the mode to be envelope. So this LFO pattern plays once and then it goes away. Now what we're going to do to create this sort of plucked sound is we're going to go over to oscillator A. We'll put the level all the way down at 0%, and then we'll throw on LFO1, so this LFO will be controlling the main volume of the entire sound. 
Next, we're going to go over to the filter. We're going to set this to be a reverb filter from the miscellaneous category. And we only need to send oscillator A through the filter because oscillator B is already being fed into oscillator A. Now, one of the things that you may have noticed is that this sound so far actually plays too fast. It doesn't have enough time to ring out, and this is where the reverb filter is going to really shape this sound. What the reverb filter does in this case is it adds a really distinct sort of echoey sound that's really hard to place your finger on, and it sounds great. It also extends the length of the sound, and it adds kind of a delay to the start of it. That's what creates that sort of offbeat sound that we had in the clip. So I'm going to turn on our reverb filter, and let's drag the cutoff down and see if we can get a good sound. Ooh, I like it at 19 hertz right here. I'm also going to increase the resonance just a little bit so that reverb filter sound has a bit more presence. We don't want to go too heavy with it or else it just goes on for too long. We'll go for 15% right there. I'm also going to boost the drive up so we can get some more crunch out of this sound. And I just noticed that we're clipping the master. We should probably turn that down a bit. I like the drive at 36%. And now let's go over to LFO2 so we can set up that pattern. There's really not a lot with the LFO2 pattern. The only thing we're going to do here is we're going to set the mode to be envelope so it matches LFO1. And we're going to change the rate to be 1 8 this is just going to add a little bit more modulation to the sound. It's not a huge difference, but I think it sounds a bit more professional. Now let's go over to the effects. The first effect we're going to throw on is going to be hyperdimension, and we can leave it at the same place right here. Let's go to the mix, and we'll turn it down a little bit because it's too heavy. We don't want the sound to be super saturated in stereo. I like it at about maybe 35 or 36 percent, right here. Now let's go over to the dimension side, and we're going to increase the mix. So we can have more of an echoey sound that rings out more. This is a cool trick that I like to do with these hybrid trap style sounds that artists like Boombox Cartel use. I like to make a sound that starts off very short, and then make it longer with effects like these. We'll boost that up to 40%, and let's decrease the size. I think we can go for 10%. The next effect we're going to add on is going to be a compressor. We're going to turn on multiband, and let's just increase the gain so we can get more of a powerful sound. I think we can turn up our master now. We'll just put that back at 70%. And I think we can put the gain somewhere around 7 or 8 dB. Right here. That sounds pretty good. And finally, the last effect we're going to throw on is going to be a reverb. And we're not going to do a whole lot with the reverb here. I'm just going to decrease the mix a little bit. And one final thing that I'd like to do to this sound to finish it off is to change the first envelope a little bit. Because if you listen closely, the sound keeps playing even after we've let go of the note and it should stop. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the sustain all the way down. Next, I'm going to take the decay curve. And we'll just boost this up so it has more of a sustained sound. We can boost it to about here, almost at the top. And finally, I'm going to decrease our decay time because right now it's still ringing out for too long. So we'll just take this and put it more to the left. And we can probably put it somewhere around 400 milliseconds. We'll go for about 431 milliseconds. That sounds good here. And there we have our sound.
Remember, you can download this project file to dissect it or make your own sounds from it by clicking the link in the description box below. If you're still not subscribed to our channel, subscribe now so you don't miss any more tutorials like this one. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video or have any questions about it, please like this video and leave a comment below.